Hello Capricorn, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a real talk reading for you guys. General as always, Capricorn, it's not going to resonate with every single person tuning in. So please do take from this reading whatever makes sense for you, your life, your situation, your relationship, and release the rest. And I'll also have a list of all of the card decks that I used for the reading. So Capricorn, this is going to be taking a look at the person that you are thinking about for this reading and how they truly feel about the relationship, the connection, and just diving into what's in their heart space, their head space, and just analyzing all of that, what's going on between you and this individual. Okay, so I'm not going to really be labeling either side because I am going to be creating two different piles of cards, whatever side you gravitate towards, whether it is a divine masculine or divine feminine it doesn't really matter whatever storyline you happen to be resonating with with your person take from it whatever makes sense all right guys so let's get started all right so i'm going to start off with the mystic moon oracles deck this is one of my favorite decks this is by angela by mystic moon and it really brings forward some pretty insightful messages all right so capricorn let's get started so as I mentioned, I'm going to be pulling cards for one side and then a second side. And this is a conversation that perhaps you have wanted to have with this person that you're thinking about for this reading. And if you guys are in separation and possibly are not talking or very little to no communication, this is hopefully going to give you some insight as to what's happening with this person. All right, so let's grab some cards. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn, for this first person. Okay, so one side will represent you, Capricorn, okay? So we've got the offer card, and we've got settling. Okay, so I'm going to grab a total of six cards here. We've got tribe, which is friends, family, Okay, we have admired, we have the release card, and we have the third party card coming through here. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab some cards for the other person. We've got bound, so that's coming through with double energy in traditional tarot, feeling bound to something or someone. Karmic partnership, interesting. new direction so whatever side again capricorn that you're gravitating towards whatever side represents you and the other side would be tapping into the energy of the other person we just have the forgiveness card that flew out there let me grab two more cards here to represent this side here i've got the divine feminine so maybe this is tapping into divine feminine energy on this side. Okay, or perhaps it's the divine feminine that decided to find a different direction. Okay, so what we have so far on the left side is offer, settling, tribe, admired, release, and third party. So this person here has probably thought about making an offer to this individual here um, some of you guys may have actually shared a family with this person or family life is just very important to this individual this person has a lot of admiration okay for this other person here but perhaps they feel as though they may have just settled and there was an element to the connection that didn't satisfy them or fulfill them Part of what didn't fulfill them may have something to do with a third party that this person might have gotten into, okay? And right next to the release card, so that might have actually already ended here. Now this other person is coming forward with karmic partner, that bound energy, again, is the devil energy, choosing a new direction for themselves, Forgiveness is represented here, Divine Feminine, as well as Pride and Ego. Okay, so what I'm grabbing from this is that there may have been a Divine Feminine 
especially if you're divine feminine Capricorn tuning in, perhaps you chose a different direction for yourself in your life and your relationship as a result of getting entangled in a third party situation and found that it was actually a karmic partnership. Okay. Um, pride and ego is coming through here as well. So whoever it is that is in need of forgiveness, it might actually be something that didn't happen because this person might be just too much in their head and just letting their pride and ego get in the way of asking for forgiveness. So also for some of you guys, what may have happened here is that the divine family, divine feminine could have actually entered into some sort of third party situation so it really depends on how it is playing itself out in your situation here let's add to this let's add to this let's see all right so since we've got divine feminine energy coming through on the right side let me go ahead and grab some divine masculine energy for the left side here so angels and spirit guides for Capricorn, for this Capricorn reading. And it is timeless, guys. So really, whenever you are guided to watch this reading and if you happen to resonate with it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and identify the left side as divine masculine energy. And again, guys, that's just energy. It doesn't have to be male or female. All right, let's see. What needs to come through here so we've got a third party situation that more than likely ended up being a karmic partnership but i do feel that it has come to an end but it could have also resulted in the divine feminine just choosing a different direction look at that feminine shadow divine partnership interesting confused okay so this is tapping into divine masculine energy so yeah he's a little bit confused as to where the divine feminine is energetically especially in regard to this relationship and also if you guys dealt with a third party situation i feel here that the divine masculine really had a lot of love for this divine feminine you know we've got divine partnership here but it's so interesting how we've got that card feminine shadow and it might be coming through as a shadow on the divine masculine side because she was operating from darkness a dark space you know this is the devil card coming through here which i am going to go ahead and identify as divine feminine energy on this side because we've got the divine feminine card we've got new direction which to me typically taps into divine feminine energy as well as this devil card which is again similar to the devil card in traditional tarot which is capricorn energy so if you happen to be divine feminine capricorn and have been in a third party situation karmic partnerships perhaps that has come to an end and you did decide you know it's it's time to go in a different direction here and perhaps for some of my divine feminines you need the divine masculine's forgiveness here but you're very much in your head and perhaps you're afraid you're afraid to apologize or you're afraid to ask for forgiveness as a result of what went down here between the two of you um so yeah i've got a divine masculine who's coming forward with very confused energy but there's still a lot of admiration that the divine masculine has for the, the divine feminine wow let's see what else what else temptation third parties karmic partners temptation so on this side what i'm feeling here is that it could really go both ways you know it, it could have been the divine masculine as well who went into a third party situation but i do feel that that has come to one end since it's right next to that release card okay that's a possibility here and or he's acknowledging the fact that 
the divine feminine here was tempted by a third party situation next card is regret interesting next card is divine feminine okay so for my divine masculines definitely coming forward with some heavy headspace confused regretting certain things that he may have done or regretting how the direction of this relationship ultimately went We've got divine feminine energy on both sides. So for some of you, it could be same-sex relationships that ended up dealing with third-party situations or karmic partnerships. And somebody is coming forward being very stubborn in knowing that they need to apologize and ask for forgiveness, but they're just not doing it at this time. All right. So let me go ahead and add to this with divine feminine energy. Let's see what else comes through. All right, so angels and spirit guides, please. What else do we need to know? Tapping into divine feminine energy here. Let's see what else. Divine union. So we've got divine partnership. Tapping into the energy here of the either it really doesn't matter guys but i typically on this side is divine masculine but you know again we've got divine feminine energy coming through on both sides so divine feminine card is coming through with divine union hidden emotions isn't that interesting so what i'm tapping into from that so far is divine feminine had some things to hide as a result of this karmic partnership and or a third party situation. Let's see what else. But it's almost like once it ended, once that new direction came about and the divine feminine decided to go in a different direction, move away from this third party, came to the realization that the person that was right under her nose was a person that she needed to be with the whole time we have a distorted feminine energy here interesting karmic cycles see yeah more karmic energy coming through here so i feel in this particular reading it may have been the divine feminine Whoever represents divine feminine energy in your situation, comfort, created the issues that came through here. You know, and with that distorted feminine, perhaps this person just had a distorted perception of how things needed to unfold in their life, especially in regard to love and relationships. And for me, it's like these two cards here are tapping into each other's energies. And I feel that there's a person here that ultimately was the right partner for the Divine Feminine. And perhaps there was a time where she failed to see that. You know, this is coming forward with that comfortable energy where, you know, you're just, you just know that you're home. You belong. There's that familiarity with each other where you know that you ultimately belong with that person but yeah these karmic cycles needed to come to an end let me grab one more to even it out one more card how do they really feel how does this person really feel dominant energy so they wanted to basically control the situation and sexually speaking, they wanted to be the dominant partner. That's coming through here. Yeah. So I've got one person here that's very confused. Has their own regrets over how things may have ended here. Third parties. 
represented on this side and we've got karmic partnerships on this side here so let's add to this let's add some words and dialogue to this so let me go ahead and start with the twin flame messages deck this is the volume two deck by mystic moon and let's take a look and see if the divine masculine could speak to the divine feminine at this moment because i'm feeling here that more than likely you guys are in separation and if you guys are together at this point conversations are just not dealing with the true issue at hand here because i feel here that there's still some tension between the two of you so again capricorn whatever side you are resonating with and the other person is representing the other batch of cards. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. Coming forward from the Divine Masculine. So if somebody's confused and in this heavy space of regret, especially Divine Masculine energy, this person does not know how to even start the conversation. What else, please, for Capricorn, for the Divine Masculine Energy? You still hold a piece of my heart. Yeah. This person still has love. You know, Divine Masculine still has a lot of love and admiration for the Divine Feminine here. It's coming through. And these energies here that there's still love here divine masculine would still offer his cup of love to the divine feminine but with some sort of separation issues that are going on still energetically between the two of you especially with a divine feminine who chose a different direction for herself you know maybe she's not ready to be open to the divine union here that's represented here clearly i mean you guys have a lot of love for each other we've got divine partnership on one side we've got divine union on the other but you guys have some healing to do in regard to this relationship i feel i feel like grabbing one more what else please for the divine masculine you've affected my life significantly yeah he feels it you know he feels the emptiness he feels the pain he feels regret over what went down between this relationship like what happened you know when i look at this photo this is some heavy thought that this person is in they're hurt they regret certain things that they either have done or have failed to do you know especially with a partner who decided to enter into a third party situation you know sometimes we get into those thoughts where didn't i love them enough didn't i love them right what could i have done differently to make them stay or to make them not want to even look at somebody else that type of thing is what i'm picking up from that you know so let me go ahead and add to this with some unspoken messages by fire witch tarot let's go ahead and add to that angels and spirit guides please continue to bring forward whatever messages need to come through for this reading So depending, of course, on what side you are gravitating towards Capricorn, whatever side represents you in this reading, and what side represents the person that you're thinking about. And if you happen to be, again, Divine Feminine Capricorn, I feel that you are represented here on the right side. Oh boy, look at that. Secretly in love, hidden emotions, karmic partnerships karmic cycles and i feel here that if this is still going on this is ultimately contributing 
to the reason why there is no union at this time. Um, that's a cycle that I feel the Divine Feminine has to come to completion, close it out in order for you guys to even re-entertain getting back together at this point. And it could be also picking up off of that bound energy, feeling like you're bound to something or someone. So if you happen to be divine feminine and you're resonating with that, because the devil card does represent Capricorn energy. For some of you guys, you may have already told the person that you were with outside of the third party situation, outside of this karmic partnership, that you've perhaps gotten over this person. But a part of you might actually still be in love with this person outside of your relationship you know third party situations are not easy and when we allow our emotions to get entangled in all that it's not the easiest thing to just let go of and i feel that that's where that bound energy is coming from look at this next card i can hear your thoughts telepathy this could either be the third party or it could be Capricorn the person that you were in a relationship with before the third party came into it if you guys again are in separation and you ultimately know that your partner would want you back but there are certain issues that need to be addressed there needs to be closure in regard to karmic cycles that need to go through its journey and come to completion and just cycle it out so that you can welcome in a new direction that wants to come in for you if you're not there already. This next card, don't lose hope. Passion is strong. So from the divine feminine perspective it might be that this is what she would ultimately want to tell her divine masculine but you know when somebody's in that pride and ego place they're still very much in their head over what to do or what not to do what to say what not to say but this is coming through don't lose hope passion is strong between the two of you still I don't feel here that it's a done deal between you and this person, Capricorn. Regardless of the whole third party situation that came through and interjected itself into your relationship. Let's add some romance angels to this. Angels and spirit guides, please. Focusing on Capricorn energy for this reading. Let's take a look at this. For the Divine Masculine side, let's take a look and see his perception of this situation. And initially I really wasn't going to label sides, but it's clearly coming through in this reading for you, Capricorn, that this is divine masculine and this is divine feminine energy for some of you it could be same-sex relationships since we have divine feminine represented in both so there's still a chance here i really don't think it's over but i feel my divine feminine needs to complete her cycle of removing the karmic partner from her life but yeah part of the reason why oh wow reconciliation on the divine masculine side that's what he wants that's what he's hoping for still very attracted to the divine feminine
Wow. All right. Look at the next card after that separation. So yeah, more than likely you guys are not together at this time. So yeah, divine feminine side is I feel on a journey that is not complete at this time. Certain cycles need to cycle out for sure in order for this partnership to have a fighting chance of working through the challenges that you guys had gone through. It's not easy. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. Divine Feminine side. What else, please? Real talk with Capricorn. How do they really feel? How do you really feel and how do they really feel? So even though you guys are in separation, I feel here from the Divine Masculine side, whoever is able to resonate with the Divine Masculine messages coming through here they want a reconciliation still a lot of attraction between the two of you we've got engagement next card believe it or not is soulmate followed by romantic feelings followed by give your relationship a chance it's not a done deal so even though I feel the Divine Feminine knows that she made a mistake by entering into that karmic partnership, still has very romantic feelings for you, Capricorn, I feel, if you happen to be Divine Masculine tuning in. And if you happen to be Divine Feminine, I feel here that there's somebody that you have in mind that you feel you may have hurt as a result of a third party situation and came to the realization that this person could actually be your soulmate. You know, angels are coming through to let you know that you can work on your partnership if the desire is absolutely there. And, you know, part of this divine union that's represented here could actually bring forward a proposal of marriage here. From the divine masculine side, we do have an offer. So it could be an offer of a proposal that's coming your way if you, again, are happen to be divine feminine energy. So there's a lot going on here, but I really feel if you guys are wanting to work it out, you can. You absolutely can. I've got so many cards here. Let me... Clear some out, okay. Yeah, so there's still hope. There is still hope between you and this person. And it even says it here, you know, th this is one of the cards that came through from the Divine Feminine side. Don't lose hope, the passion is strong. And if you guys are connecting in the 5D, Perhaps you already know this, Capricorn, that there are still feelings here. There's still love here. There is still passion between you and this person. It is not over, guys. It's not over, regardless of how painful a journey you guys may have actually been on. There's still hope. I really feel that. Let's add some tarot to this. So angels and spirit guides focusing on Capricorn energy, divine masculine. What else needs to come through here? Let's see what else, guys. What else needs to come through? Because what I'm grabbing from this right now is there might actually be a lot of things you guys need to say to each other, but you're not. If you are in separation, that makes it very difficult to communicate. I've got... What I feel is a divine feminine who's too much in her head. I'm saying her, but of course, that's just energy. It could be male or female. Afraid maybe to ask for an apology or to just say, I'm sorry for what I've done. 
And part of this new direction is to walk away from a karmic partner because we do have release and third party on the divine masculine side. So divine masculine is acknowledging the end of that situation and just wants a reconciliation with the divine feminine. Divine Feminine still considers the Divine Masculine a soulmate, still very romantic feelings there. Angels are confirming that this is a relationship that is um, worth giving a second chance. Okay? So, Angels and Spirit Guides for Capricorn, Divine Masculine. Please bring it forward. Eight of Wands fire energy so for some of you guys you might actually be thinking of a leo aries or sagittarius that's an energy surge and communication so that's awesome that tells me that it could actually be the divine masculine who starts the conversation to, who opens up those lines of communication so that you guys can just have the chance to sit down and really talk this through to work on the partnership and I feel here, based off of the energies from the Divine Feminine, you guys can have that chance. Let's see what else. What else for the Divine Masculine side? Ooh, nice. Okay, this is the Chariot. Charging ahead. So he's ready for some movement here. Part of the movement that's indicated here could be, again, an offer, a proposal of marriage. The Divine Masculine recognizing the type of bond that is shared with the Divine Feminine, truly wanting a reconciliation, still very much attracted to the Divine Feminine. No doubt about that. You know, you hold a piece of my heart. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. So perhaps part of the reason, Capricorn, why the Divine Masculine hasn't reached out, more than likely, if you, of course, are Divine Feminine, is because he's still really trying to formulate in his head what it is that he wants to say to bridge the gap between the two of you and offer this reconciliation and then eventually move to the next level of your connection and possibly long-term end up you know, marrying this person or each other of course if you are the divine masculine here i see a marriage in your future capricorn doesn't matter what side you fall on let me grab an additional tarot message here for the divine masculine side two of pentacles so that is earth energy that's your own energy, Capricorn. But it could also represent Virgo or Taurus for some of you. Balancing act here. So there's a need for balance in this relationship. And I feel when this third party came into the mix, it put this relationship so out of balance that it just created this very unsteady foundation between the two of you. And perhaps from the Divine Masculine side, this is coming through because he's really trying to regain some sort of equilibrium between himself and the Divine Feminine. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, Romantic Gesture. Beautiful. And I feel here, for some of you, that Romantic Gesture, once again, could come in the form of an offer of reconciliation or a proposal of marriage. And also, it could also be an offer to start talking once again. All right, so let's grab some tarot for the divine feminine side. And again, guys, that's just energy. It doesn't really pertain to, it's not so gender specific here. Whatever side you gravitate towards and whatever storyline is making sense for your situation. Oh my gosh, look at that. The lover's card. Twin flame connection is what that says in this particular deck. 
that does represent Gemini energy for some of you. That is the Lover's Card in traditional tarot. There's a decision that is indicated by that card. There is a decision that needs to be made in regard to a love connection. And perhaps the Divine Feminine, whoever is representing that energy here for you, Capricorn, is finally ready to make that ultimate decision to release a karmic partner if they haven't already, or if you haven't already, if you're Divine Feminine, find a new direction and finding the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, you know, especially if things have been pretty rocky between the two of you, which is understandable considering we've got karmic partnerships and third parties that are represented in this reading. But yeah, we've got divine union, we've got lovers indicated in the divine feminine side here. And of course, we've got soulmate. Still some pretty intense romantic feelings between the two of you, Capricorn. It doesn't really matter what side you are gravitating towards for yourself. Just the overall reading is just bringing forward the type of energy that there's still hope in this relationship. It doesn't matter who did what or who said what to hurt the other person. There's still love here and I feel that this relationship can still be salvaged. That's ultimately what I'm feeling between the two of you. What else, please? Angels and spirit guides for Capricorn. We do have Queen of Wands, so there's more fire energy. Confident and magnetic. And this is falling on the side of the divine feminine. So for some of you, you might actually be representing the qualities of the Queen of Wands, feeling very confident in your life. If you aren't there yet, I do feel that a switch in perspective and direction can offer you that type of confidence that you're needing in order to work on your partnership, in order to ask for forgiveness, in order to be able to bring forth an apology. You know, so that's what's needed here. Certain steps that are needed for you guys to start talking again in order to start the healing process because I feel that something pretty heavy went down between the two of you Capricorn it has not been easy and it's so fitting because look at this bottom of the deck we've got the five of cups and the words below old wounds that needs to heal and I feel the divine feminine whoever is resonating with that needs to release that and heal it and let it go and move on away from it and those of you who had to let go of a karmic partner that you actually ended up falling in love with that's not an easy thing to have to let go of but it is a part of your journey i feel in order for you to move towards your soulmate you got to get rid of that karmic partner And I feel here that, you know, Five of Cups is not an easy energy. That's loss and regret and bereavement. It's literally mourning the end of something. Mourning the end, more than likely, of this karmic partnership. But when feelings are involved there and you're letting it end... It's still not easy. It doesn't matter that it was a third party situation because your heart ended up falling in love with this person for some of you guys. But given time and the direction that it was going, ultimately I did feel for some of you that you came to the realization that that's not where you belong. Where you belong is with your soulmate who can offer you this type of divine union that you are looking for and I feel for those of you who went into that third party situation looking for that you didn't find it it just gave you a false sense of 
finding it. It's it's almost like giving you a false sense of finding treasure, and it ended up just being fake treasure. That type of energy. Okay. All right, so let's add to this with some Infinity Oracle by Fire Witch Tarot. And I started doing these readings for some friends and family, and they felt that it really offered a lot of guidance in a situation between two people. And um, this wasn't something that I typically offer as a reading style, but then it ended up just people started requesting it. So I figured, you know, let me see how it goes here on my channel. And if you guys enjoy it and like it, then I'll be able to do more of these. So this is definitely in the beginning stages. Okay, so we've got spirit signs for my divine masculine, kept letters, which in today's world could include text messages or emails. So I feel that the Divine Masculine has been receiving some sort of sign that perhaps things are going to ultimately work out between the two of you, Capricorn. And if this is you, then you've been holding on to old emails, old letters, old text conversations, reminiscing, just reading it when you miss this person. And if this is the other person that you're thinking about, they're still holding on to those things because it reminds them perhaps of when you guys had good interaction with each other or whatever the case may be. You know, it just reminds them of when times were good between the two of you. Look at this bottom card. Divine Masculine. Okay. Coming through with Divine Masculine energy and it says warmth. Of emotions he is very much in his heart space over this connection this person has so much love for this other individual so take that for however way it resonates for your situation if this is you, Capricorn, and you're tapping into the energies of divine masculine energy, whether you're female, whether you're male, you still have a lot of love for this person. You want to reconcile. You want them back. There's a lot of love here. Um, but if, if you are divine masculine, I feel the ball is in your court as far as getting you guys talking again to be able to offer your cup of love to this divine feminine whoever is resonating with this side here, it falls on this person to get things moving. I feel here that the Divine Feminine has some things that, you know, needs to be done as well as far as making a decision to release things that no longer serve, finding a new direction away from karmic cycles and karmic partnerships, asking for forgiveness, healing the heart space, allowing old wounds to heal as well. Yeah. All right, so let's add to the Divine Feminine side with some tarot. Let's see what else needs to come through here. So angels and spirit guides for Capricorn, please. This really makes me wish I had like a humongous desk violin and it says playing the victim so the divine feminine here may have played that victim mentality at one point in time look at this next card once again we've got dominance so two cards coming through with very similar energies wanting to be the dominant partner in the connection. What else, please, angels and spirit guides for the Divine Feminine in this reading? What else do we need to know? How do they really feel? How do they really feel? Whoa. 
<laughs> muscular. This might represent the actual physique of the divine masculine in this reading. Reminiscing about when you guys may have been intimate or just super attracted to the divine masculine. Clearly, divine masculine is just as attracted to the divine feminine here. So there's some pretty intense sexual energy between you and this person, Capricorn. What else, please? Stargazing for me comes through with um, somebody who daydreams and, you know, looking up at the sky and trying to picture where life can go from here. What does the future hold? And for my divine feminines who are truly contemplating finding a different path for themselves, that's a very fitting energy to come through. Look at this bottom card. We've got forbidden fruit. So there we go again with karmic partnerships, third party situations. And that simply needs to cycle itself out because I feel here that as long as that's present, especially from the divine feminine energy, that it's going to make finding a new direction very difficult. It's also going to keep the divine feminine in this bound type vibration where it's difficult to let go. But that's what needs to happen in order to start working on the partnership with the soulmate. The soulmate is truly where your happiness lies, Capricorn. If you happen to be divine feminine energy. And if you are divine masculine, I feel here that you recognize the uniqueness and how special this connection is. And so regardless of the pain that you may have endured as a result of third parties, I feel here that you guys are still fated to be together. Yes, there are challenges here. Yes, there is healing that needs to happen. But I really do feel that there is still a chance between the two of you, Capricorn. I don't really think it's a done deal quite yet. Let's add some Lover's Oracle to this. Let's see what else. So Angels and Spirit Guides for Capricorn for Divine Masculine. Please bring it forward. Let me grab this bottom card. Unbelievable. Let me grab some for Divine Feminine. Three cards flying out for the Divine Feminine. Okay. Look at these two cards representing Divine Masculine energy. We have a message of love and we also have sacred union represented there. This first card, Capricorn reads, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So for my Divine Feminines, and if you weren't sure if the Divine Masculine still loves you, there's confirmation right there. Yes, he's hurt. Yes, he still has his regrets. He still doesn't know what to say. But yeah, the Divine Feminine is still very much a part of the Divine Masculine's heart still loves you the other card sacred union this card reads honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred wow amazing okay so the cards that came through for the divine feminine this particular card reads you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed and allowing those karmic cycles to come to completion it's not easy especially when you're coming through with that devil energy there's hidden emotions that are represented here forbidden fruit very difficult to let go feeling bound to something or someone and of course in this instance it's someone it's not easy. And um, for those of you resonating with this, 
the ending of this cycle could bring about a blessing that is so needed between you and your soulmate, Capricorn. Okay, so allow it to come to an end. There are certain aspects of that connection, karmic partnerships that need to come to an end. Next card for Divine Feminines. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So my Divine Feminines have a lot to think about. Again, we've got that Lover's card buried around here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, there's a decision that needs to be made in regard to what is represented here as well as a twin flame connection. So not only do we have soulmate, but we have twin flame represented here for some of you guys. So it really depends on what you feel you're gravitating towards by way of your connection. And look at this other card, passion. Sound familiar? Okay, that's a second reference from the Divine Feminine side of passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. You know, and I feel here that you guys are still energetically drawn to each other, even though there might certainly be a separation that is indicated here from the Divine Masculine side. You guys can work through it. The desire, especially from the Divine Masculine, is certainly here to want to reconcile. Still so much love there. So, so much love. Wow. It's not over. It is not over, Capricorn. It's not over. I don't feel it that it is over. And um, I really feel here that you guys have a second chance to make this work if this is something that you both ultimately want. You know, this is giving you a clear picture of how they really feel about you, about the situation. You know, so whatever side again, Capricorn, you're gravitating towards. And if it makes sense for you, the other side is telling you how your person is feeling about what went down between the two of you if you're resonating with the storyline of separation, third parties, karmic partnerships. So if you remove the uh, gender specificness of whatever side, divine feminine, divine masculine, it doesn't matter. If you're just listening to the messages and if it's resonating with your situation, take from this what makes sense for you, you know? All right. So I wanted to add to this with some additional unspoken messages because I really feel here that there, there's more that needs to be expressed between the two of you. So once again, let me go ahead and pull some cards for the Divine Masculine side. So angels and spirit guides for Capricorn, please. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. Some final words, some final unspoken words between you and this person, Capricorn. So this is Divine Masculine unspoken messages. I tried to erase you from my mind, but all I got was depressed. Yeah, see, look at this person. Where's that picture? Regret. Okay, very sad, very melancholy energy. You know, and it's natural to try to erase someone from your mind when they hurt you, especially, you know, dealing with third party situations, karmic partnerships, it's not easy to be made to feel like you're second, that you came in second in this person's heart. That's not ever easy. Look at this next card. Sorry for the glare. This says my fear of losing you eats at me. Next card, you know I love you, right? And if you didn't, you know it now. Two messages, really, with confirmation from the Divine Masculine side that there's so much love still here for the Divine Feminine. Wow. All right. So let's grab some final thoughts 
final unspoken messages from the Divine Feminine side. Angels and Spirit Guides for Capricorn Divine Feminine, please. Or whoever represents Divine Feminine energy in this reading for you. I'm working with the universe on a special surprise for you. Ooh. Divine Feminine might actually have some surprises in store for the Divine Masculine here. Wow. This next card is interesting. It says, I'm financially unstable and don't want you to know. Hidden emotions tapping into that as well. So perhaps for some of my divine feminines, you are embarrassed about how things have turned out in regard to your finances, especially especially if this person that is representing your soulmate helped you out before financially and once you guys went into separation, that was not something that you could sustain for yourself. But at the end of the day, I really feel that whoever it is that you are in separation from, they really don't care about that. They just want you back. They just want you back. The next card after that. I understand what you need without you having to say it. It's like... You guys are finishing each other's sentences before you even actually complete what it is that you're saying. And I feel here, guys, it's just a matter of time before you guys start talking again. And once you reconcile, I really do feel that you guys can overcome the challenges that you had endured in this relationship. For those of you really representing with that third party and karmic partnerships in your relationship, you know, angels are coming through to confirm that it's worth saving. Work on your partnership. Next card. Very interesting. I tried to stop spying on you, but then I got withdrawals. So for some of you guys, if you are Divine Feminine, maybe you have been keeping tabs on the Divine Masculine here. Especially those who've already claimed a new direction for yourselves and are just really wanting to move beyond this whole karmic partner situation and third party that brought the, I feel, tower moment down on your connection even though we don't have an actual tower card coming through here, I feel that you guys may have actually endured that in your relationship. There's still a pretty intense attraction between you, Capricorn, and the person that you're thinking about for this reading. I do feel that. All right, so let's end this reading Capricorn with When Spirit Speaks, Medium on a Mission, Heather Falona's deck. So Angels and Spirit Guides for Capricorn. Divine Masculine Energy, please. All right, guys. So some final thoughts of how they really feel for the Divine Masculine side. Look at that soul tribe. Where is that other card which is buried? Okay, we've got tribe. So from the divine masculine side, family, friends, love connections are very important to this person. Divine masculine does not take it lightly. It's very special and it's nurtured and cherished and not something that is easily let go of. There's still so much love there from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. So much love still. And 
If you guys are willing to work through a reconciliation and really sit down and talk about the issues and problems that overwhelmed the relationship, I really do feel you guys will be okay. All right, let's grab a final thought for the Divine Feminine. Final thought for the Divine Feminine, please. Clearing, good. Clearing the negative energies, clearing past experiences that hurt the Divine Feminine, clearing out the bad, you know, and getting ready to claim a better future and just better energies between the two of you. Bottom of the deck, prayers. Followed by, yes, I love those two cards. Prayers are blessing this connection, regardless of the challenges. Do you guys have an opportunity to reconcile? Yes. Do you have an opportunity to work through the problems? Yes. Do you guys still love each other? Yes. Do you miss each other? Yes. It's not over, Capricorn. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to leave this. That's how they really feel, whatever side you happen to be gravitating towards, okay? So I really hope that you guys were able to resonate with this reading, whoever is tuning in. And if you happen to relate to the messages that came through here, I really do hope that it offered you some peace and guidance and clarity. All right, guys. So if you're interested in a private reading from me, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I will be back real soon with more readings for you, Capricorn. Thank you guys for spending this time with me and I'll see you next time. Take care.